Hello friends, welcome to the review of Nokia Lumia 630, brought to you by techbreachers.in. Today here we have a Windows 8.1 powered smartphone. It is a mid-range phone, pricing around about 10,000 on the stores and you can get it 8,000 for the dual SIM version and single SIM version is around 6,000 or 7,000 around about now let's just take out the phone from the box here we have a nice black color phone the build quality is real nice real good to feel the buttons are oh, perfectly placed as it's a 4.5 inch phone so it's just the appropriate amount that you can have in a hand now just I, let me keep, keep the box aside the phone is nicely built, the back is matte finish which is uh, fingerprint resistant and it's very good to feel and the weight of the phone is 134 grams which is quite light and let's see what we have over here. On the right hand side we have the volume rocker button which is very really good and sturdy. On the below we have the power button which is the on off the phone. On the top we have this 3.5mm jack. On the left hand side it's totally bearing nothing. Below we have the port for data syncing and charging. Now let's just open up the device. The screen quality is really nice under the segment. It's a 4.5 inches IPS LCD panel used. It has a 418 to 854 of the uh, pixel and 221 is the pixel density. It has a clear black display. The sunlight legibility is quite good in the phone. Even in the higher sunlight, uh, it's good to see the phone. The blacks are really good and let's see the toggle menu. This is quite similar that we have seen in most of the Android phones. It's uh, not too much customizable I must say but there are few options to change. Uh, for my preferences I have set it on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, High, so this is your that auto brightness sensor which you can manually convert it the location and over here a small settings menu which I click and we can just go into the settings. And here we get a plenty of settings for the device. Let's see with the start theme. Like over here, we can change the color of the theme. Currently, start theme. We can go to cyan or any color else. We can change the lock screen timeout. We have the Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. The battery on the device is. 1830 mAh battery and the best part of the phone is the battery saver which is really optimized when the battery saver is on you can even set the battery saver time limits and the, when the battery saver is on the phone really lasts for hours and hours let's get out of here the phone under hood is powered by a quad core 1.2 gigs Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 Cortex A7 processor which is quite good in the market and it's running quite smooth. Being a quad core processor it's really smooth and multitasking is quite good on this phone. It uses a GPU of 305 Adreno which is uh, average GPU I must say not too much good not bad it's a perfectly average GPU which just does the job. It has a 512 MB of RAM which is quite enough for all the Windows phone and as these phones don't use much of the RAMs and let's talk about the memory on the phone the, it has 8 GB of Intel memory out of which only 4 GB is user accessible and 4 GB is used by the phone uh, phone itself or using its uh, running its uh, Windows 8.1 version the best part of the device is that people don't need to worry about the internal storage as I've already told it's 4 gigs of uh, user accessible memory but Nokia has provided with 128 GB of SD card expansion. I don't know how Nokia managed to put up that, but it's real good because you can over here choose the option to store your data in SD card, your photos in SD card, or your apps, or your new downloaded movies and whatsoever. The phone supports Wi Fi, FM, GPS, Bluetooth 4.0, all the regular features that you get on a simple phone. Now let's have a look at the dialer of the phone. Uh, it's a pretty decent dialer. 
a very simple dialer to use over here you have the sim switchability while calling that's a good feature that you can just click on one or two to choose your sims to save a number let's suppose save any number over here we just click on a simple big button over here that is save and you get over here a plus icon that is to save it in your outlook account or google account or anywhere else the name of the phone and you click on the save button and hence it saves the phone number here you go the calling quality of the phone is pretty nice i must say the noise cancellation is also very good uh to rate it would i will be giving it uh, 7 out of 10 windows has come up with a new feature that is a search engine of their own provided by bing you can put in the search for the web or phone anything and the new thing is that as all we all have used the google now on the android devices over here we get the cortona that is the search provided by microsoft let's see if it works good on this phone or not who is the president of united states of america okay it is working pretty fast oh <laughs> it worked really accurate actually it didn't give any voice back but it's pretty decent to use window provides us with this uh, new feature that is this app switching feature which can be closed like this or you can just swipe it down to close the multiple apps that you have used the tiles over here are customizable as they can be shorter in size or bigger in size or small or medium and then you can unpin it and you want any other tile over there let's pin the whatsapp tile again here we have whatsapp and pin to start and here you have the whatsapp tile again Nokia has provided us with their here maps which is the best in town nowadays as it's training very fast with their offline maps let's open it up let's see if our location is yeah the location is available as you can see it loaded up pretty quick it's a good map with offline facility also you can search your destination over here like I'm um, searching this pre-search destination let's see if it shows the result or not and soon it shows me the result along with the directions also if I want to get like here I'm getting my directions now yeah I have my directions now you can choose to start your navigation by driving by walking or by any commute that you use if you want to use the direction you can just click on start navigation and it suddenly open up the here drives it's taking a little bit too much of time and here we go now it's finding my route as you can see it accurately shows 27 minutes as my travel time and includes no delay as you can see and the total distance is 12.9 km if I click on the start it will just start my journey now let's look at the browser the browser which is which it comes is the internet explorer 8.1 now let's open some let's open our website that is www.techbreachers.in as you can see the device is loading pretty much fast the zoom in feature is very good as you can see the text to flow is really good as that the processor quality is nice so you can see now let's have a look at the camera Nokia has provided with many of the Lumia cameras that is Lumia camera Lumia cinematograph Lumia panorama Lumia refocus and much more you have for the camera lovers let's open the inbuilt camera app only and here we have a very basic camera let's just take an image of the box itself it's focusing very nice let's just click on the button and it instantly clicks on the picture 
we have a few modes over here that is shows the auto mode the night sports backlit and here we have the lighting iso that is white or cloudy or fluorescent here we have the exposure value and here we get this the aspect ratio that is earlier it was 16 is to 9 here we have the video mode and this is the multiple shot it's a burst mode now let's check if it works or not yeah it has taken a um, right amount of images like 14 images in just mere seconds which is quite good for a phone like this the camera Nokia has provided is a 5 megapixel shooter which is an autofocus camera the colors come out to be real good in this camera since it's a 5 megapixel camera considering it camera quality is decent I must say the low light conditions were not uh, that much good but uh, during the normal sunlight or inside the artificial light the camera was really good working and the colors were very really true but what was a little bummer that was the noise there was a little bit much noise in the images that just came after I'm recording this video on the phone's microphone itself the phone is recording the video at 720 pixels phone is generating a pretty much good color output that I can see the focus on the phone is also very nice now let's test the performance of this phone with a gameplay I've also tested the phone with many other games but now let's for now start with Asphalt 8 Airborne Let's see how the game loads and how is the gameplay on this device. Now the game is loading as you can see. The color reproduction is really good. As you can see the speakers of the phone is really really amazing. The sound is loud and crystal clear I must say. Let's lower it a little bit. That will be fine. Let's hit the play. So that was the gameplay of Asphalt 8 Airborne on this phone and I must say the performance of this phone was stupendous as the game loaded really quick and there was no lag in the loading of the game or either in the gameplay. A little issue that was that the phone sometimes get heated a little bit in the summers mostly on the top where the processor is otherwise the phone is real good while gaming the final verdict of the phone is that the phone under the low end section that is around 9000 to 10000 the phone is real good the only con that has faced was that it doesn't has any front camera as you can get in many of the android phones nowadays and even windows phone provide other providers 
The lack is also of uh, LED flash and the camera is only 5 megapixel which could be bummer for many of the people. But rest the phone is for those people who don't like most of the uh, much of the customization on their phone like they want to keep it simple and fast because the phone is real fast in my users. Uh, I've been using this phone for past one week and the only thing that was a bummer to me was that sometimes it just uh, get freezed. Uh, like when I'm having a low on battery and then only the phone gets freeze otherwise I didn't even uh, feel any lag on the phone the phone is real uh, sturdy to use it's real snappy the phone is going to attract a lot of girl crowd cause the phone is real snappy and the camera is also good on the phone with keep it simple uh, ideology Microsoft has provided a real good thing under the 10,000 budget and the people with much of a business thing would also like the phone because it's a real simple phone real easy to use fast and the Microsoft management that we get over here is also good as you get all the types of storages functionality or the e-readers Adobe and all in all so this was our cover on Nokia Lumia 630 and if you like the video please like share and please do subscribe so finally, thank you for watching the video and happy taking!